It's my pleasure to be speaking with Joy Deep Hoare, high profile employment lawyer, as well as an individual with his own personal brand, often asked to speak on TV about those issues. Facebook recently introduced Timeline, has some potential impact on employment and uh, a personal brand. I'm curious to explore this with you. It, it certainly does. And uh, as with all of the, the good things that attach to social media and Facebook and the, the conveniences that we have, certainly from a relationship building point of view and, and, and keeping in touch with friends and family and reconnecting and all of those things, uh, the, the introduction of timelines, certainly from the perspective of its impact on recruitment and, and an employer-employee relationship, is, is very significant. Uh, the, the fact that um, people, uh, people's Facebook pages and profiles might be readily accessible depending on the, the kinds of access settings they've, they've put on it means that most employers these days will at least try to see what is available in relation to a particular person. Now, the kinds of information, the types of information that you put on yourself, not just most recently and, and that are current about, about you, but also historical information that you have posted or others have posted about you or to you at given points of, of, in time could well be indirectly used against you by virtue of it tainting the view that is had about you by a prospective employer. Now, <clears throat> there are laws that prohibit discrimination on certain grounds. So, for example, uh, the mere fact that someone attended um, the, the Mardi Gras and that there are photos of them um, from five years ago at the Mardi Gras um, and that leads to a view by a, a prospective employer that because the person must be gay, uh, I'm not going to hire that particular person and if it can be proved that that was a reason for the decision, it would clearly be illegal. But what tends to happen in these kinds of matters is that it, it'll never be that overt and other reasons will be identified and that, that's not to suggest for a second that anyone should be uh, secretive or in any way ashamed or um, seek to disguise their hobbies, their passions, their interests, their preferences, whether sexual, religious, um, ethno, uh, national or whatever it might be. But naturally, the more information you put up there, uh, the more you potentially um, tap into other people's views about certain things. doesn't necessarily mean that any of those views are right, fair or even legal. But the other thing in all of this is employers will, as a general rule, and there are always going to be exceptions to this, but employers, as a general rule, will be a little bit apprehensive in most instances if an employee or prospective employee is being seen to be too out there. And regardless of what is the context in which they've been out there, the fact of them being out there makes an employer or might make an employer a bit nervous. A bit nervous. Okay, example of being out there. Example of being out there is... Um, I participated in this student rally where we were actively protesting against the introduction of this or I participated in this particular march and, and I'm a member of this particular group and I've set up this lobby group and I'm, here are all of these things that I've, letters to the editor that I've written complaining about the carbon tax and whatever it might be. Now the thing that worries employers is um, even if I don't have a view about that particular issue. I apprehend that you might be a volatile employee. I apprehend that if you get a bee in your bonnet about something that's happening in this organisation, you might be uh, marshalling the troops to generate discontent. And that makes me a bit nervous as an employer. Now, I'm sure many of the listeners are thinking, well, that's me, that's who I am, that's what I'm passionate about, and if an employer is not going to take me for who I am, well... I don't want to work at that particular employer. And that's fine. That's fine. But there needs to be a, an understanding that the more information that you put out there about yourself um, is likely to trigger 
more responses to that information. That's a simple scientific uh, conclusion.